Hi and welcome to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how you can get a free Linux server. Uh, we'll be using Amazon's uh, AWS, or that stands for Amazon Web Services, and we'll be using all the free tier stuff and I've already got a page open for you. But before I get started, just want to say if you're enjoying the content, please um, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and also you can join the Discord server and I have a link to that in the description below. So yeah, let's just get started. So this is Amazon Web Services. So we'll be using the free tier stuff, um, and we're specifically going to be using the EC2 instance, which is their Linux servers. Uh, you get 750 hours per month, which is basically a whole month for 12 months for free. Okay, so when you do sign up, uh, signing up is pretty simple, um, uh, but AWS they'll take one dollar. So you have to put in your details, and they'll take one dollar te temporarily, but then they'll give that back to you. And uh, but everything else in the video we'll be using is free, so you don't need to worry about that. So when you once you've signed up, which should be pretty straightforward, uh, you'll it'll be led to the console. So this is the console. <clears throat> And there's a load of different services that you can choose from. So to get to the EC2 instances, you just click uh, compute. So you click on services at the top left, compute, and then EC2. Or you can just Google. Or you can just search it here. So I've already got an inst a couple instances, one running. But what we're going to do is we're just going to click this orange launch instance button here, and then again launch instance. <clears throat> so now you can see all the different uh, images we can use, so Amazon machine images, these are the operating systems and templates we can use. So we can use, en we want to pick any of them which are free, I quite like this one, this is the Ubuntu server, so I'm going to select that. The next stage you can configure the server itself, so you can choose the number of uh, virtual CPUs, the, the RAM, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to stick to the free stuff again. We can just click review and launch, um, but you can customize other bits and bobs. So you can customize the amount of storage it has, security groups, and other other bits and bobs. Um, you might get this warning uh, the uh, about the security group. So a security group is um, the firewall set on your server, basically telling the server what type of connection should what should be allowed uh, and by whom but with the default setting it'll allow all sorts of um, incoming connections and that should be fine for our case for now but you can change that to make it your IP so anything any can any uh, incoming connections from your IP will be allowed I'm just gonna click launch what are you gonna do now is create a key pair uh, key pair is basically the the way you log in. This is your password, but instead of actually typing in a password, you just you you um, use this uh, file to to try and log in, and it's got a specific key pair for you for each um, for each uh, instance. So we will choose create a new key pair, and you can call it whatever. I'm going to call it my key pair. You can click download it. I've got it now, now launch instance. Okay, so this will take some time. Uh, we can view the launch log. And oh, okay, let's let's go back. So we can go click the AWS sign, click EC2, which we've recently opened. Check my instances. One of them will be pending. So here we go. This is the one that I've just uh, set up now, I think. Does it tell me? Yeah, this is the date. So this is the one I just set up, and if I click on it, it says instance state is pending. So we'll just wait for that now, and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, so my server is now running, so it says instance state running, and I've got my uh, key pair file here, and I put it on my desktop. So now we can open up a command prompt or terminal. Uh, now you want to move to the to the directory where your key pair is found. Mine's on my desktop, so I'm gonna go to the desktop. Um, see, let's to clear. And now we're gonna to connect to it. So we connect to it by SSH. So it's SSH-I. And we're gonna type in the key pair 
name dot pem that's what i called it my key pair dot pem you type in the name that you've used and we're going to connect to the server here run to add and you copy and paste this uh, URL here, the public IPv4 DNS. And I'm going to paste it there. Click enter. Okay, so you might come, okay, before this, you might see a screen saying something about fingerprint. Just type in yes. That's just your computer saying, oh, well, this is a, a new, uh, this is a new file. And just to make sure that everything's good and uh, that should be fine. Just type in yes. This is a different issue, so this is an unprotected key file. So this is actually just in the open. Uh, any anyone on the computer can actually access it. So we're going to change the settings for that. Oops, so if you open up the properties, go into security, uh, click advanced. Uh, what we're going to do is disable inheritance. We're going to convert inherited uh, permissions, explicit permissions. What we're going to do is delete everything except yourself. That's me. Click apply, OK, and then click OK. Uh, now let me open up terminal again. So if I try that again, there we go. Um, in my server, and this is a Linux server somewhere in I don't know where the server is hosted, but it's an Amazon Web Service uh, Linux server, and you can use it for all sorts of things. Uh, you can then check out my other videos on how to set up a monitor on a server. Uh, I'll be releasing a few more videos on using servers. And uh, hopefully this was useful. If you did find it useful, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, and do subscribe because I'm going to have so much more content releasing in the next in the next year. Or until I see fit. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.